The talk is uh, about Sikhism and uh, Sikhism being an original matlab or apne aap which ek aisi cheez hai jo kade vi duniya de vich kisi ne age nahi dekhi si na dekhenge so it's an original us da parava is the hond us di bantar it's distinct matlab it is so different from everything else it is also a kalpur ki moj de vich bani gayi it's a, a revealed religion they, and above all it is a complete religion is there which koi kaat nahi na koi vada na koi kaat it is absolutely pure and complete this is what the talk is about and i would like to say right from the beginning that jo bhi main kahanga main usse maafi nahi mangda kyunki it is going to be based on the revealed word kyunki is gurbani de parthai a discussion hai us cheez di main maafi nahi mangda i am not going to apologize uh, stating the obvious which is gurbani but is there which uh, there is not meant to be an offense to anyone else uh, we're not trying to offend any other religion or dharm but because gurbani is a revealed religion a revealed word revealed ka matlab hunda hai ke dhuro aaiye ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਦੀ ਆਪ ਬੋਲੀ ਹੋਈ ਬਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਮਾਫੀ ਮੰਗਣਾ ਅਨਕੂਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਅਗਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਭੋਲਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪ ਮੇਰੇ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਮਤ ਅਨਸਾਰ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿ ਦਵਾ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਹੁਣ ਹੀ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮਾਫੀ ਮੰਗਦਾ ਸੋ ਮਨੁ ਖਿਮਾ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੀ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਆਸਕ ਫॉर ਯੋਰ ਟਰਸਟ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਫਰਗਿਵ ਮੀ anybody want to give me a definition of their definition of what a religion might be what what do you think is a religion an institution institution a way of life a way of life <laughs> can't think of it <laughs> he can't think it's a way of life way of living way of living <laughs> path to find the way to go okay so we've got a few uh, ideas of what religion might be and uh, which is fine um some people would say in, in the terms of western thinking it's it's a, it's the way you practice something it's it's the way you practice certain rites it could be that you belong to a certain group that could be a religion or that you follow a certain behavior even that is sometimes uh, considered a religion but ek hor lafaz aa gaya apne gurbani de vich which might be used for religion what is that word haan ji dharm yeah dharm and uh, the simple translation of dharm is no nee, simple translation of dharm da bas matlab aam punjabi de vich dharm da matlab ki duty rightful living righteousness sachai sache rasta uh, sachya sache rasta apnana us nu kende ne dharm aam boli de vich te but what is dharm according to guru arjan dev ji guru arjan dev ji kende ne sarv dharm hai श्रेष्ठ धर्म सारे धर्म तो सब तो श्रेष्ठ धर्म की है व्हाट इज द बेस्ट रिलीजन ऑफ ऑल गुरु साहब कहंदे ने हर को नाम नाम जपना अपनी सोचनी प्योर रखनी ते जो कम करने ओ भी प्योर रखने सो अकॉर्डिंग टू गुरु अर्जुन देव जी धर्म दी जे कोई डेफिनेशन है ते धर्म दी डेफिनेशन ए है नाम जपना अपने ख्याल बिल्कुल सच रखने ते और अपने जो कर्म ने व्हाट यू डू and what you think must be pure in action nirmal karm that is if there is a definition of dharm then guru arjan dev ji ne kaha ki eh hai ga dharm dharm jo cheez hai gaya wo har ek bande de vich dharm hai kyunki we all have a, an essence of a way of life we all have the ability to follow the right path correct so it dharm actually sade andar hai because we are able to follow that dharm aisa samjh lo ke ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਆਤਮਿਕ ਜੋਤ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਅਟਲ ਧਰਮ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਧਰਮ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਧਰਮ ਦਾ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਸਿਰਮੋਖ ਹੈ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਜੋਤ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇੱਕ ਧਰਮ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਧਰਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਜੋਤ ਸਰੂਪ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਬਾਣੀ ਬੋਲਣ ਤੋਂ ਸੰਕੋਚ ਨਾ ਕਰਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ 
ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿ ਕਹਿਤੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਸੁਣਤੇ ਸਭ ਧਨ ਲਿਖਤੀ ਕੁਲ ਤਾਰਿਆ ਜੀਓ ਕਹਿਤੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਨੁੱਖ ਬਾਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਬੋਲਣਗੇ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਬਿਕਮ ਪਿਓਰ ਕਹਿਤੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਸੁਣਤੇ ਸਭ ਧਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੁਣਨਗੇ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਬਾਣੀ ਆ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ देयर ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸੇਵਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਬੋਲਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਪਾਰਸ ਕਲਾ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਬਾਣੀ ਬੋਲਣ ਤੋਂ ਸੋ ਕੋਸ਼ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਸੋ ਕਿ ਡਟ ਕੇ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਤੁਕ ਬੋਲਾਂਗਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਟ ਕੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਨਾਲ ਸੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਮਨ ਤੂੰ ਜੋਤ ਸਰੂਪ ਹੈ ਆਪਣਾ ਮੂਲ ਪਛਾਣ ਕਿ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਇੰਬੋਡੀਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਸਚ ਅ ਲਾਈਟ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਲਾਈਟ ਤੂੰ ਜੋਤ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਤੇਰੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦੇਖੇਗਾ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਰੈਕਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਯਰ origin ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਨ ਹਰ ਜੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਮਤੀ ਰੰਗ ਮਾਨ ਕਿ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਥੈਟ ਥੈਟ ਗੋਡਸ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਜੋਤ ਇਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਈ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਦ ਸੱਚਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਮੂਲ ਪਛਾਣੇ ਤਾਂ ਸਹੋ ਜਾਣੇ ਮਰਨ ਜੀਵਨ ਕੀ ਸੋਜੀ ਹੋਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਯੂ ਐਕਨੋਲੇਜ ਯਰ origin ਕਿ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕਮ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਗੋਡ ਯੂ ਸ਼ਾਲ ਨੋ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਗੋਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ this question about life and death what life and death is all about so apna sare the farz band hai as 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 human beings plus as six to identify that dharm apne andar jo dharm hai apne andar jo religion hai ki asli religion which is ordained by god oh jehdi light hai ki oh sade andar hai and guru sahab kehnde ne oh my mind recognize that ke tu oh mool pehchan tu us dharm nu pehchan that is the reason why you have come into this world so sikh is a seeker sikh word comes from which sanskrit word simple shisha which is a a, a seeker of of something a, a student they sikhs are seekers of truth they and guru sahib ji kehnde ne ke sikh tu aaya kyu hai is manukh is manukha janm pa ke tu aaya is kis vaste hai and you've gone through this before guru sahib kehnde ne bhai prabhat manuk dehriya you know this translation well put it up deh pai prabhat manuk dehriya gobind milan ki eh teri bariya that this is the reason that you have come nothing else is going to be useful to you join the sad sangat of the of the holy six and ona de nal baith ke tu naam ja tu kirtan kar guru sahib kehnde ne par asli ki ho raha hai ke i have not practiced meditation main jab tak koi nahi kita mere kol koi discipline nahi hai I have no self restraint or righteous living meko koi dharm nahi hai te main naam hai guru di seva kiti hai and I have not acknowledged that that akal purkh seva sad na janya haraya kaho nanak hum neech karma saran pare ki rakho sarma eh sikh di ardas hai this is the prayer that we do every day because in essence we don't do it we do not recognize that jyot prakash inside us we don't recognize that true path that we would wish wish to follow knowing that all other things around us are going to be useless so in order to understand the origin of sikh dharm we must look at what the world was like when guru nanak pasha ji came into this world guru nanak pasha ji came here about 500 years ago they onane jo bhi dekhya what they saw they witnessed and they recorded it and they discoursed about it they talked about it oh gurbani de vich so guru nanak di nazara de vich jo manukha da haal siga that we need to understand to understand ke why sikh dharm nu kyu ana paya why did guru nanak dev ji have to come to this world to teach this path to to god and remembering ke guru nanak pasha is the ultimate sat guru he is the true guru he is the teacher he is the ultimate teacher the master the savior there is only one guru in sikhism baki no jyota ne nine jyots but one guru he was divinely appointed or kal purkh ne aap bheja hoya aap tikya hoya guru hai te jisne is duniya vich aake he came to this world to get rid of the bondage that the mankind was uh, bound down with of maya so what is the state of mankind uh, generally speaking uh, 
people all, always want something apni mangani kade puri hundi hai kade bhi mangani puri hundi hai we want more and more and more why do we want more because we think that by amassing a lot of other things we want to achieve happiness and i remember on monday somebody said ke okay, the prime reason for living is that people want to become happy true we all want to be happy which is why we do everything that we do whether it's buying a car makan khitna doing our studies going to college whatever it is it's done in order to become happy because we think that by doing this course we will become a, a doctor or a dentist or whatever a pharmacist teacher and then we can earn money and then we'll be happy we need money we can buy a car we can buy a house uh, we eat food to be happy we everything that we do is due to desire but do you think these desires are fulfilled do you think any of our desires are fulfilled when you buy a, a car do you, uh, how long does it take before you start looking at other people's cars come on guys i know you got your bms and mercs out there yeah but one, once you buy it you know you want something else don't you yeah you got a 5 series and you want a 7 series isn't it then you got your mercs and then you want a sports merc and your coupes yeah uh, and then suits what about the suits that we buy yeah 20 pounds then 30 pounds then you look at somebody else 90 pounds even that doesn't mean anything then you want to go for 150 and then say oh 250 so what car lo ek dafa khreedna la lo yeah doesn't matter kyunki aap ye manga nahi puriya hundi hai and which is the reason why we are in pain guru sahab kehnde ne nanak dukhiya sab sansar so this maya this illusion this illusion of happiness this illusion that asi koi cheez la lavange and we will become happier is really is an illusion and i want to take you through very quickly of what guru sahib says uh, the state of the world is guru sahib kehne e jag to ek pahar it is like a smoke it's just a puff of smoke it's not really there it just vanishes after a little while uh, like the shade that sun comes and the shade is there and then it suddenly disappears guru sahib kehne ne tan sampe maya sanchiye ante dukhdai that in the end all of this will cause pain wealth property we bring pain in the ha- in the end homes mansions palaces houses of of of, of un- unknown value it will never go with you you may breed horses of different colors uh, you may have uh, this is could be reference to bmws and mercs and and of ultimate colors and uh, engine sizes it will not be of any use right guru nanak pachi kahe jananak naam te aaya gurmukh sukh pai it is only through naam blessed by the guru that the gurmukh remains in peace all all the rest is an illusion it is dukhdai illusion so guru sahib kehnde ne okay guru arjan dev ji ke even vade vade rajan aur bhuman ta ki trishan na bhuji that even the the kings that the landlords uh, there are plenty of landlords even among you because we've suddenly learned the the sick population the indians that you can buy houses and uh, rent them out and become very rich and uh, i know of a lot of uh, little uh, groups of sikhs who've got together and they're buying houses because they want to become really wealthy and hopefully happy but we know that will not cause happiness we know that okay guru sahib that tal bachan it will not bring happiness so desires kings landlords guru sahib kehnde ne are never satisfied bikhya mai kin hi tript na pai kise ne vi tripti nahi pai nobody has been satisfied so guru sahib is shabad vich kehnde ne ke uh, people have become intoxicated by wealth they are blinded by by this illusion of maya and there is no satisfaction in sin and corruption because all of this leads you away from god definition of maya quickly definition of maya anand sahib de vich ha ji a maya jit har visre what is maya we were talking about maya not talking about money we're talking about this this world of illusion guru sahib can the definition guru amar das ji a maya jit har visre anything that makes you forget god is maya whether it's your wife your children your exams your cars your houses anything anything that makes you forget god is maya a maya jit har visre mo upje that you become attached to it mo upje pao duja laya and that you forget god's respect and you start respecting other things and done uh, of other things more than god itself that is maya and i would say that everything that we do except for naam 
कीर्तन वाणी एंड सच्ची सेवा एवरीथिंग इज माया और सब कुछ माया ही माया है बट द गुरु हैज टॉट अस ए प्योर पाथ वो है कि गुरमत लीडिंग अ वे दैट इज बीन टॉट बाय द गुरु एंड आई विल शो होपफुली इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स दैट दिस इज अ परफेक्ट पाथ व्हिच लीड्स टू फुलफिलमेंट एंड ट्रू हैप्पीनेस ते ए ही सच्चा धर्म है नो बडी लाइक्स एनीथिंग टू बी इनकंप्लीट कोई भी अधूरी चीज किसी नु भी चंगी नहीं लगदी If you were to wear a trousers without a zip, would you wear them? You sure? Let's check. Okay, he's all right. He's all right. Would you wear a shirt without buttons? They're supposed to have buttons, and buttons are missing. In no way. Would you go out with a suit that has or the seen ni changi lagi hoye the whatever? Would you wear it? No. No. Why not? Because I don't know. <laughs> Because it's not nice. Because it's not nice. Who says it's not nice? Well, you think it yourself. You think it yourself, or others will look at it and say both. Both, yeah, because it doesn't like. Would you drive a car with three tires on it? I wouldn't be able to drive it. <laughs> you would be able to, yeah, but would you? No. no. Would you wear uh, shoes without laces on? No. no. They'll come off, and uh, you actually she hasn't got any laces. All right. <laughs> so, can the matlab hai? After we will never do anything that is not complete. A dhuri cheese, kade bhi kisi nu changi nahi lagdi. Yeah? Why is it ke a dhure bande ki ka? Why do we Why do we accept people who are not complete? Nothing else is complete, and we don't like it. You will not do it. You will not wear it. Would you go to a, a college where it gives you a degree that you don't actually pass at the end because they don't give you a certificate at the end? You would never do it. we will never take on something that is aduri but asi apni zindagi we are very satisfied to accept everything that our life is not in our life is incomplete and we are okay about that it's okay we are we are able to take on a way that is incomplete well that's not good enough for guru sahib guru sahib ne oh panth rachaya hai ga jis da hai ga bol पूरे का किया सब किच पूरा वाद काट किच नहीं गुरमत पंथ द गुरु इज वे इज नॉट मोर नॉट लेस इट इज पूरा बिकॉज इट इज बीन ऑर्डेन एंड बीन मास्टर्ड बाय द मास्टर ऑफ ऑल मास्टर्स अकालपुर हिमसेल्फ सो वी आर नॉट हैप्पी विद बीन इनकंप्लीट विद एनीथिंग एंड आई माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इज व्हाई डू वी एक्सेप्ट थिंग्स दैट आर इनकंप्लीट विद इन योरसेल्फ रिमेंबर द सर्कल वी ड्रू about our lives which are unbalanced yeah we are we are we accept it it's okay we don't exercise the kate chalo chado pare right if we become ill because our weight is increasing we become obese diabetes and blood pressure we say it's okay we we want we accept it it's okay all right te apa khai je khai je soin je soin je gurdware once a month chal je koi na we are so unbalanced so we have accepted to be incomplete and that is a state of sleepiness of of just going to sleep and not thinking about it so i want to nudge you a bit and say okay, why why do you do that why do we do that guru sahib then looked at before we look at why sikhism is complete distinct religion want to look through the eyes of guru nanak ke okay, what is man what is the state of human kind the guru sahib dasre ne i'll go through this see see rag mahla pehla guru nanak pasha ji's shabad lab kutta kur chuda thag khada murdar so shabad is there so guru sahib is saying that greed is like a dog how many of dogs are here today how many dogs are here today yeah there are a lot of dogs here today yeah how many of filthy street sweepers who lie how many of us lie chhoot bolna ek rao riti ban gayi hai apne samaj vich in our people punjabis to say uh to speak lies has become a part and parcel of our lives uh, we lie here we lie there we lie at work we uh, tax evasions and this and come card here there everywhere even in gurdwaras and this and that we tell all these sort of lies and lies and lies but guru sahib says that lies is like uh, uh filthy street sweepers what about cheating how many of us are eating rotting carcasses Guru Sahib said cheating is like people eat dead bodies. What about ninda karni? 
Ninda is like eating others' filth. That is like, you know, filth. You understand what I mean? Yeah? <laughs> eating others' filth. So I, I couldn't find a proper name for it. I could have done some medical term here, but I, I left it at filth. Guru Sahib said, Ninda any Maria, it is like Kiseda uh, Gandhakana. What about how many, of, how many of us burn others' bodies, dead bodies at the crematorium? Anger. Guru Sahib said, Anger is like people who are outcasted and have to burn dead bodies. Mari Masande, which Arthina Sardana, is like anger. The Guru Sahib said, in this way, we are all trapped in the rust of it all. How many of us really feel great when you've done a bit of ninda? Feels good, doesn't it? changi ninda hogi, yeah? Changa bandhin ragar do, you know? Thoda khor, thoda khumar do. And thoda uh, lai karke, thoda khor lai kar do. Swad on that vicho. It is rust. The Guru Sahib said that in this homme, in this self-conceited praise, these are my actions, O my Lord. So these are the actions of an imperfect man. And again, Guru Sahib, that's why he Ras Soina, Ras Rupa, Kaman, Ras Parmal Ki Vas. These are, the, these are the kind of Ras that we enjoy. Pleasures of gold, of silver, money, of women, of fragrances, of horses, of having good mattresses. How many tried to change the mattresses? Because they were a bit, yeah, uh, soft furnishings. Uh, and eating changiya rotiya, eh? gulab jamna, ras gulle, and then did nipar, then see one more and more. Guru Sahib Kandane, ke sweets and meals. Guru Sahib Kandane, ke, okay, thika, sade vich e rasa gane, but then how on earth can Vaheguru be inside you when there is all of these ras inside you? When there is no other place for it left, how can God, how can Guru come there? If you've got all of these already full up in your cells, so plentiful are the pleasures of the body. How can God dwell in your heart when all of these are already there? So that was looking at man. What about the society in general? Guru Angadev Ji Maharaj da Farman hai, now Fakire Paat Shahau. Murak Pandit now. And in the Shabbat, Guru Sahib says, that beggars today have become kings and rulers. And I would say, if you look around you even now, in every state, in every country, in every country of this world, this is the truth. This is the ultimate truth which Guru Nanak Dev Ji, through Guru Anga Dev Ji has said. Beggars are kings and rulers. Blockheads have set themselves as scholars. They're actually stupid, ignorant people. Guru Sahib Kare, those who think that they're dealing with gems are actually blind. This is the style of living in the world today. He says, scoundrels and mischievous men have become leaders. And this is true. Again, apne leaders with chati maro. Look at our leaders. And Guru Sahib Kare, illat ka nao chaudhri, kuri pure thao. And that this is a, a lying, uh, uh, a liar has become to be known as a perfect man. And Guru Sahib Kare, such is the character of the day we live in, this Kaljug. But in this Kaljug, only the Gurmukh, jade Gurmukh naam japan wale, rehat wale sikhne, they know this, and only they know the true path. So, the true path was shown by Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and this was a mission that Akal Purk Aap Guru Sahib Nuh Tikke as a Guru, sent Guru Nanak Dev Ji Padshah to this world. Guru Sahib Kandane, Jai Sao Chanda Ukwe, Suraj, Ete Chanan Hondia, Gurbin Kondar, Sadguru Nanak Pargatya Miti Tund, Jag Chanan Hua, Suni Pukar, Akal Purkhane Pukar Suni. Mankind in this state was so, so much pitiful that God listened to the Pukar of the world. Guru Sab Pai Gurdas Likane, Suni Pukar, Datar Prabh, Guru Nanak, Jag Mahapathaya. That is the reason why Guru Nanak Devji was sent to this world. What is the core belief of Guru Nanak Dev Ji? And you know this. And we, we underestimate our Mool Mantar. When we talked about Naam, let me also say that Jithe Mein Dar Sandi Koshish Kiti Si Ke Naam Japan Kitna Zuri Hai This is what Guru Sahib is saying. It's not stopping you from reading Bani. 
Bani utni hi lazmiya. It is as important to read Bani and meditate on Bani as it is to read to do Nam Simran, because Gurbani is the lighthouse. Gurbani will sh show you the way. Nam is in essence your duty as a human being, but Gurbani is the light. It's a lighthouse. Gurbani ne hi thonu akal purk de kolle jana hai. Gurbani is the light, and that light. In essence, is in the whole of the Guru Granth Sahib is in essence of the Mool Mantra. The Mool Mantra nu japna koi choti gal nahi hai, bohat vadi gal hai, which is why the Gur Mantra is Vahiguru, Mool Mantra is Mool Mantra. It is the essence of Sikhi. The eda vi abhyas karna aur nahi lazmi hai Sikhnu. And within it is the essence of all of Sikhi. That Sikh ek hai, Akal Purk ek hai, Guru is ek, ek onkar. Satnam, our whole life of a Sikh is about truth. Satnam, Kartapurk, he is a Akalpurk creator, Akalpurk, Kartapurk. And Gur Sikhs are unique in the sense that they create things for uh, the whole of mankind as well. They are without fear, Nirpaune, Nirvarne, they are without hate, just like Akalpurk. Guru Sahib Kadane, Harjan Asa Chahi, Jasa Harhi Hoi. A Sikh, a human should be like God Himself. Harjan, asa chahiye, jaisa har hi hoy. That is what a Guru Sikh should be like. That is what man should be like. Like God Himself. And what is God? He is here. Ik onkar, satnam, karta kurk, nirpao, nirvair, akal murat, ajuni, sahabhang, gur prasad. He realized through the Guru's grace, as we talked about last time. Now, I want to look at what is it about Sikhism that is so uh, unique. Uh, bearing in mind that Guru Padshah was transparent and frank. Bilkul Mood Fat Jawab. He was Nirpa. He was Nirvad as well. He wasn't being mean to people, trying to undermine them or condemn them. He was being honest and frank to them. Which is why he stood up to people like Babur. At, at a small age, he went to Babur, a Mughal, like the worst... Uh, uh, Taliban you could ever dream of, father of all Talibans. And Guru, Arja, Guru Nanak Dev Ji goes up to uh, Babur and says, Ke tu Babur tu Jabar, you're, you're an evil man. And he got, you know, I would say got away with it, but he had the goal to be honest and direct. And so Guru Nanak Pasha Sikhi uprooted deep seated hypocrisy. They rejected all the prevalent religious practices, Jitne vi hor atarmi, taramsan. Onanu reject kita. He formed a unique, separate faith of his own, and this was done not by himself because he felt like it. He woke up one day and he said, oh, I think I better form a new religion here. And he woke up and he went around the whole world trying to teach it. He didn't do that. Uh, he, he had no business to do that. God called him. So Guru Nanak, through the nine gurus, which were his jodh, uh, uh, showed all of this. And I want to take you through uh, their own words, through Bani. Uh, of this mission to uproot and reject all the other faiths that were there. So, what is this faith? Number one, that Guru Nanak Pasha Ji showed that there is only one supreme God. And you might think, oh, well, that's old hat now. But you'll be wrong. If you look at Christianity, if you look at Islam, if you look at Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and every kind of isms there are in the world, kise nevi akal puruk ik akal puruk da uh, asa tandora, asa with 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 uh, zeal. Nobody has done that kind of prachar except for Guru Sahib. And right in Japji Sahib, he broke away all of this rubbish nonsense that was existing at the time. That there may be this god and that god and this god made the lightning and this god did this and Hanuman came and struck this water and this this earth was made and and so on. And so right in Guru uh, Guru Sahib's Palibani, Japji Sahib, Guru Sahib kadane ke Gurmukhanadam. Gurmukh Vedam, Gurmukh Rehasamai, Gur Isar, Gur Gorak Barma, Gur Parvati Mai, Gura, Ik Devu Jai, Sabna Jiyanka, Ik Data, Soma Visarna Jai. He totally rejected the existence of other small gods and deities that could have created the world. And his belief was in only one true God. Bilkul Ik Sach. There is no other that can stand in front of him. In here, Gurmukh Nadang the Matlab Gekti, the Guru's word, Guru the Shabad. Guru the Shabad he Nadang hai, Guru the Shabad he Ved hai, Guru the Shabad he Sare Pasis Maya hai. 
ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੀ ਈਸਰ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਤਲਬ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੀ ਈਸਰ ਹੈ ਗੋਰਕ ਹੈ ਬਰਮਾ ਹੈ ਥੀਸ ਵਰ ਦੇ 3 ਡੇਟੀਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਸੈਡ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਸੈਡ ਨੌਨਸੈਂਸ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਸਚ ਥਿੰਗ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਨ ਗੋਡ ਗੁਰਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਾਇਆ ਕਿ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਨ ਗੋਡ ਨਨ ਨਨ ਅਦਰ ਥੈਨ ਥੈਟ so guru sahib then went on to break the hypocrisy about the creation of the world he says all right pandits right if you really know that when the world was made then why didn't you write it in your qurans then if the muslims had known about it why didn't the qazis write it in their quran waqtuna payo qadiya when was the day why didn't the yog- yogis write the month and the season for the creation because that's nonsense to deliberate on these nonsensical man made uh, theories is nonsense i watched watched a documentary pichle hafte about the roman catholic church and how for almost a thousand years they went through so much problems because each century went along and then einstein came along and then newton came along and they challenged all the the so called prophecies within the bible and the old testament uh, he did a simple experiment okay ne ke sari ek dhartiya is is that the ale dwale kum diya ne that earth is the center of the universe and uh, galileo and newton and all of these people proved them absolutely wrong and this is supposed to be a divine religion in which the truth is embodied in the testament and in the bible and in the quran and in the puran and guru sahib 500 years ago which telescope did guru nanak use did he have a telescope did he do some experiments no because god told him god told him that this is nonsense guru sahib rejected all of this and uh, newton did an experiment he just they said that the rainbow was also of divine origin ke rab ne a rainbow banaya yeah. they and newton says okay so he he pours some water in his mouth and he spat it out with a light coming out from a prism and when he did that the, when the 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 splattering of his uh, uh, washed out uh, water from his mouth it made a rainbow effect and do you know what they did he was a or another some sort of like he used to live in a, a monastery a monk actually uh, found this out that newton took uh, took this up with experiments in prisms and so on they imprisoned imprisoned him and killed him wo kehne ki tu jhoot bol da ke eh ta sade bible vich likha hai ki tu kaun hai kehne wala and then they had to change all their thinking but guru nanak pasha has remained absolutely true and firm to this day and do you know recently they found another planet in this galaxy yeah they found another planet haven't they well you know if they had actually talked to guru nanak pasha and if they look at the bani they would realize that they're wasting their time guru sahib rejected claims made by islam and hinduism regarding creation because he said that these were just suppositions and assertions a apo baniyo ye galla tusi baith ke kar rahe hai ena de vich koi sachai nahi this useless waste of time don't do it which is why in the guru granth sahib you won't find these things you won't find ke hamni world ya guru nanak doesn't go into those things because guru sahib says this, these are suppositions only god can know what is out there and he revealed a practical way to live a truthful life uh, devoted to serving the akal purakh by meditating on nam so guru sahib again says in japji sahib ke patal can everybody say this okay now the reason i ought to say it is because we also need to be good in grammar huh this is not patala patal lakh agas agas it is patala patal lakh agas agas okay that is where the comma is patala patal lakh agas agas there are worlds and worlds and universes beyond this ha ji theek hai from what i have learned that may be so but from what i've learned from run away into the mountains those who just want to remain silent those who do not want to get married and they think that some spirituality attached to that those who are sanyasis those who are udasis who live in detachment from the world those who form the hindu praises those who read the vedas those who go about the world naked those who don't even sleep who think that by sleeping they will be led away from god those who bathe in pilgrimages those who do fasts those who are hermits those who call themselves wise guru sahib kehne ke itne jyada lok ne oh apne aap nu koi bhi ghat nahi khanda nobody says that he is any less than anybody else they all say we are better than everyone else in the shabad guru sahib says no one admits to any deficiency they all say that they've reached god 
But Guru Sahib, Aap Kareene, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, that I have abandoned all of these above. All of these above I have abandoned. And what have I done? I have sought the sanctuary of the true, go, true Guru, Guru Nanak. So Guru Pasha Ji Kandine, ke, all of these things lead you to absolutely nowhere. And addressing the Manmuks, the Muslims, Guru Sahib ne is Shabadeh which Guru Nanak Pasha Ji Shabadeh ka, uh, allows everybody to pay attention. Huh? Thoda, it won't take too long uh, and then you can um, meet your friends and, and then have a look at other things uh, after this. Um, but Guru Nanak Pasha Ji, uh, as Shabad which they are addressing the Muslims and if you read through it, uh, there's one line that I want you to uh, uh, pay attention to. That is, Sare Sariyat Kare Bichar Bin Buje Kase Pave Par. Some think about religious rituals and regulations. Muslim Anade, which Quran ta ik pase regi, but Quran to upar, they look at their book called the Sharia. They, oh, that is the code of conduct. And it was through the Sharia that Guru, uh, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, the Chote Sahib Jade Nujari, the Sihi Dekim Ashid, Kite Gaysan. They referred not to the Quran, but they looked at the Sharia and said, What does the Sharia say that we should punish the Guru Sahib's children with? So Guru Nanak Pasha Ji says to them, Ke, Of what use is, is, is all of this? Without understanding, how on earth are you going to reach God? Let sincerity be your faith. And instead of bowing down to a, a certain place, th there, there is no benefit in this. And Guru Sahib's conclusion from this Shabbat, that he has rejected the code of conduct of the Muslims. Sharia nu reject kita gaya. Guru Sahib has also rejected their facing the Kaaba. They all over the world they face this one way. The Guru Sahib can say that they under sincerity nii hagi, they under taram nii haga, they under santok nii haga, daya nii hagi. To see ek paase sijda kari jande ne oda ki lekha. What is the point of that? So Guru Nanak has rejected that this in his Shabad. Guru Sahib also advocated sincerity in prayer. And his reference was that God is everywhere. The reference is to Kaaba. That God is not just in this one place that you call the house of God. And in the next Shabbat, Guru Sahib part padiyo or ved vicharyo nivel puyangam sade. Guru Sahib says that the Vedas, the sacred texts of the Hindus, yoga, the cleaning techniques of controlling the breath, you cannot escape from the five passions, which is calm, krodh, lo, mo. This is not Pyare Invid Milan Najai. How simple can Guru Sahib say it to us? He says, by doing this, you cannot reach God. Pyare Invid Milan Najai Makiye Karam Aneka. I have done all of these. I have seen it all. You cannot reach God by doing this. You cannot reach God by becoming silent or being naked or begging or visiting pilgrimages because duality, Dubda, can never go away like this. You can give as many gifts as you like. Apa ke daan deke na sade jange. Guru Sahib says no. You can literally donate half a million pounds for a Gurdwara to be built. If you think by doing that you'll be saved, you're wrong. Because kam kartuta koi horon te paise to see dedan. Guru Sahib says no. Giving gifts, charitable donations, no matter kitne vi charitable hon. This is not saying ki don't do it. Guru Sahib can make nirmal karam on each other. Nirmal karam on the right action, you can do whatever, that's fine. But if you think by just giving that you can reach salvation, Guru Sahib has rejected this. Guru Sahib has rejected the giving of gold, women, horses, elephants, corn, clothes. He says it will not lead you to God at all. Guru Sahib has also said in this one Shabad that by doing puja, by doing all this matha tekna, doing 84 postures of yoga and extending your life, you cannot escape life and death. You can also be royal, you can be a prince, you can be wealthy, you can live in beautiful palaces. And Guru Sahib says, all of this will lead you to the gates of hell. So the conclusion in this Shabbat, Guru Sahib says, Har kirat saad sangat hai. The ultimate action that needs to be done, and it is a true path, Guru Sahib says, Har kirat saad sangat hai, sir karman, Ke karma, that by singing Kirtan and Gurbani in the presence of the Guru and Satsang is the highest action of all of these. Then all of these, all the above is rejected. Guru Sahib, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, in a different Shabbat, Karam, Taram, Pakhand Jodhi Se, Tin Jam, 
ja gati lute it says kot tirat majan ishnana there are you can go to thousands and thousands of tirats and pilgrimages kot tirat majan ishnana is kal mein man preje the more you do of these pilgrimages the more filth that you acquire is the opposite to what people think that's going to happen guru sahib kehne ved katev simrit sab shastra in padhya mukt na hoye how how simple can the guru's message be if you ask me oh what will happen to the hindus now because they read their shastras or what will happen to the poor muslims now they read their qurans well i'm sorry but guru arjan dev ji says ved katev that's the hindus shastras and ved katev is the muslim books ved katev simrit sab shastra in padhya mukt na hoye that if you read these books you will not get salvation can that be more straightforward can it be any more straightforward than that by reading these books you will not reach, achieve salvation and in the end of the shabad guru arjan dev ji says gurmukh naam jape by repeating the naam through guru nanak's bakshish gurmukh naam gurmukh naam jape udre so kal mein kat kat nanak maan ja by repeating naam through the guru's word it is the only way to salvation so guru sahib also rejected the notion of tirats and we will quickly look at this he says you may chant and meditate practice austerities and self restraint and dwell in sacred sh- shrines of pilgrimages as you plant so you will harvest and you will waste your human life away sins cannot be washed away in water can i can that be more clear you cannot commit sins ਝੂਠ ਨਿੰਦਾ ਚੁਗਲੀਆਂ ਪਾਪ ਬਖੀਲੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਝੋ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ਼ਨਾਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਪ ਧੋਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਕੌਣ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਧੋ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਾਪ ਉਤਰ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈਜ਼ ਰਿਜੈਕਟਿਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਹਰਜੀ ਹਰਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੈਡ ਔਨ ਮੰਡੇ ਪਰਿਏ ਮਤ ਪਾਪਾ ਕੈ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਪੈ ਨਾਵੇ ਕੇ ਰੰਗ ਯੂ ਕੈਨੋਟ ਕਲੀਨ ਯੋਰ ਸਿਨਸ ਔਰ ਯੋਰ ਸੋਲਸ ਬਾਈ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਇਨਟੂ ਵਾਟਰਸ तीर्थ वर्त सुच संजम नाही करम धर्म नाही पूजा पिलग्रिमेजेस फास्ट प्यूरिफिकेशंस दीस आर एम्प्टी वर्शिप्स गुरु साहब कह रहे ने गुरु साहब कह रहे तीर्थ नाता क्या करे मन में मैल गुमान व्हाट यूज इज हैविंग दीस गोइंग टू दीस पिलग्रिमेजेस व्हेन योर माइंड इज फुल ऑफ फिल्थ व्हाट अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस गुरु साहब सेज ke kare bhi bhoot lagave pasme by putting dust on yourself you think you can become pure guru sahib says no ant krodh chandal so home with deep within you there is ag- anger and home how can you clean your soul by doing this pandit pakhand kine jog na paiye bin satgur alakh na paya practicing hypocrisy yoga can't be obtained without the true guru you cannot find god what about kundalini i know many people have been practicing kundalini yoga guru sahib says nyali karam pu yangam pathi inner cleansing techniques to clean the energy to raise your kundalini to the 10th gate guru sahib can i rechak chumbak purak man hathi inhaling exhaling holding the breath does that afford you any blessing guru sahib says no guru sahib says by empty hypocrisy practices you cannot find dharm it is only through the guru's word pakhand dharm preet nahi harshu preet nahi harshu gur shabad maha ras paya it only through the guru shabad can you achieve this what about cut shaving your head how many children are their heads are shaved when they are born because it is deemed purification the muslims do it the jews do it and i think that some parts of some catholicism and christians do it also and hindus, and hindus of course yeah here's my friend <laughs> and uh, guru sahib says ke mund mundaye jo sidh pai then what about all the sheep what about all the sheep they 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 get shaved off every season why haven't they found god nagan fird jo paiye jog ban ka mirg mukt sab ho guru sahib says that if you think by becoming naked then what about all the animals in the world why haven't they found salvation 
and Guru Sahib says bind the raakh jo tariye paai that if you think by not becoming by not having children by be, being celibate that you can reach God Guru Sahib says that why haven't the transvestites reached God yeah he says khusre kyu na paramgat paai khusre nu kyu ni rakh milya je tu si kande ke shaadi nahi karni vyah nahi karna oh bada gurmukh aaya ne ta vyah nahi kita wah ਇਹਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਏ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਆਪਣੀ ਔਰਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਸੰਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ਨ ਹੈਡ ਐਨੀ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਵੂਮਨ ਓ ਹੀ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਚੜਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਸੇ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਅ ਰੀਅਲ ਬਾਬਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਬਾਬਾ ਪਜਾਮਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਂਦਾ ਪਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੇਸ ਓਕੇ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਕਿ ਬਿੰਦ ਰਾਖ ਜੋ ਤਰੀਏ ਭਾਈ ਦਨ ਵਾਟ ਅਬਾਉਟ ਦ ਖੁਸਰੇ ਖੁਸਰੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਾਖ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਆਪ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਆਨੰਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਆਪ ਕੋਲ ਬੱਚੇ ਸਨ ਦੇ ਲਿਵਡ ਅ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਅ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਵੂਮਨ why is it so wrong this is the pakhand that is beginning to exist in our religion you know there are some staff they are saying good morning they are saying that they are saying that they are saying that they are saying we'll talk about that in the in in the discussion i've got a few little bit few things more to to go ahead and i'm going to steam roll in the next 5 minutes bhagat kabir ji kandne ke why have you shaved your shaved mind somebody asked ke bhagat kabir ji might have been a muslim and i'm going to quote by Pagat Kabir ji now and you tell me if you think he is a muslim okay kabir ji says okay you have not shaved your mind so why do you shave your head right whatever you do is done through your mind why don't you shave your mind what about pan sapari guru sahib has rejected the use of all uh, uh, intoxicants drugs alcohol tobacco has any other religion in this world condemned this except for sikhism no one If Sikhism had been taken up as the true path 500 years ago we perhaps would not have seen the scourge of AIDS HIV hepatitis cancer of the lung cancer of the liver alcohol hepatitis these are all due to these drugs no other religion bans them and i did say right at the beginning why do we settle for something that is not complete the other religions are not complete Sikhism is the only complete religion in and out all of these things have been condemned by the gurus guru sahib has also rejected islamic practices he says that where have the hindus and muslims come from who put them on their different paths think of this and contemplate with in your mind men of evil intentions he calls the muslims and hindus of the time evil who will go to heaven and hell qazis have you read your books such scholars and students have all died and none of them have discovered the inner meaning and guru sahib then goes on to say that because of the love of women that a circumcision is done and pagat kabir ji says that no if god wanted me to be a muslim i ha- i would have had a circumcision done while i was born but that was not done you don't circumcise women and you consider those people who are not circumcised as hindus so the logic is that all you muslims are actually born from hindus that your women are not circumcised they were they hindus you are born of of a hindu and you call yourselves muslims of being circumcised no pagat kabir ji totally rejects this kabir hai pakri tek ram ki turk rahe pachhari pagat kabir ji says states that muslims have utterly failed in their effort to reach god turk rahe pachhari and that pagat kabir ji has fallen at the feet of god himself in this shabad but puj puj hindu moe turk moe sirnai worshiping their idols the hindus have died the muslims have died bowing their heads to the kaaba and in this shabad guru sahib pagat kabir ji says the hindus cremate the dead the muslims bury them he says the world is like a deep pit dark all the four sides death has it in its grasp reciting their poems the poets die the jatataris they die the yogis die with their matted hair even they do not know why he grew the kings die the pandits die without why he grew's name everything is in ruin without naam pagat kabir ji says who shall find god in this shabad pagat kabir ji says that the hindus and muslims will all die wasting their meaningless lives with rituals and hypocrisy idol worship is condemned in the shabad bowing your head down towards one makkah and kaaba is condemned did you know that the kaaba contains a stone called the 
sang Aswad. In essence, the Muslims are actually bowing down to this idol, and the Kaaba actually contained many idols before Muhammad took over the Kaaba. And Haji Allah, true. Allah was the name of an idol, and so he's called his God Allah. And Guru Sahib has condemned all of this without Nam through Nanak. All of these have been rejected by Pagat Kaviji. And was he a Muslim? I ask you. Guru Sahib has also rejected fasting. And some would have you believe that Sikhs actually uh, accept fast. That is absolutely not true. Guru Sahib says, Chode an kare pakhand, tajye an na mile gopal. By fasting, you will not reach God. I know I have now um, gone past my time, and I'm going to, if I may, just conclude now. I will just go through this uh, extremely quickly and go to the point where I would like to. This, this Shabbat actually talks about halal and that you kill animals, but uh, Bhagat Kabiji says, Do you really kill? Because when you kill this animal and you say that this has been slaughtered in the name of God, who are you killing? The soul never dies. So who have you killed? What good is this purification act? Why do you bother to wash your face? Why do you bother to bow your head to the mosque? Your heart is full of hypocrisy. What good are your prayers a pilgrimage to Mecca? You are impure. Tu na paak. Paak nahi sujia. You do not understand Wahigru. You do not know his mastery. Says Kabir, you have missed out on paradise. Paradise. Your mind is set on hell. Was Pagat Kibirji a Muslim? The conclusions from this are as we said. Hajj has been totally condemned in Gurbani. Kabir Hajj Kabe ko jayetha. Aage milya khudai. It's really quite funny. Pagat Kibirji is quite uh, funny in his writing. He says, I was going along to the pilgrimage to Mecca and God met me. And he says, he scolded me and said, who told you to do that? Didn't you know that I was with you? You don't have to go to the Hajj to Mecca to find me. And this is another one. And this probably is one of the most fundamental uh, quotes that I, I will give you uh, from Gurbani. And it was written by Guru Arjan Dev Ji. And it, in it, it says that I am neither a Hindu nor a Muslim. And it's Pairo Mahla Panjma. And I will read this through with you. He says, I do not keep fasts. This is Guru Arjan Dev Ji. I do not keep fasts. I do not keep the month of Ramadan. I serve only Wahiguru, who will protect me in the end. There is only one Lord. He is my Allah. Ek gusai Allah mera. He administers justice to both the Hindus and Muslims. I do not make pilgrimages to Mecca. I do not worship at the Hindu shrines. I only serve one God and no other. I do not perform the Hindu puja. I do not offer the Muslim prayer. I have taken the one formless Lord into my heart. I humbly worship Him there. And then most profoundly, Guru Sahib says, Na hum Hindu, na Musliman. I am not a Hindu. I am not a Muslim. My body and breath of life belong to Wahiguru Allah Ram. Says Kabir, this is what I say. Meeting with the Guru, my spiritual teacher, I have realized my God, that I have reached God. If you say that this is quotes from Bani, what about other historical evidence? Moshan Fani was at the time of Guru, Guru Sahib. He lived among Guru Sahib and he writes in his book, Dabistan e Mazbi. And he says, he's a Muslim, fanatic. He says that Sikhs have no faith in idols. They do not read the mantras of the Hindus. They do not believe in Hindu mantra, jantas or temples. They do not believe in Hindu avatars. They have no regard for Sanskrit as a sacred language. What about Pai Gurdas Ji? Pai Gurdas Ji wrote the Ad Adbi. And Guru, Pai Gurdas Ji says in some of his words, the Guru's Panth is distinct. It cannot be mixed with others. Members of both sects are selfish. That's Hindus and Muslims. Pai Gurdas Ji writes this. They are jealous, proud, bigoted and violent. Neither shall find liberation from transmigration. They will die and they will be born again. Kazi Nur Muhammad, 
he was born in he was around 1765 and he writes in jangnama that the manners and the ways of the sikhs are very distinct they are not from hindus or from muslims and kazi nur muhammad himself was witness to 1699 of guru gobind singh maharaj's creation of the khalsa nanpur sahib vikhe kazi nur muhammad was there he wrote to arangzeb arangzeb te usnu one ki likhya he says that guru gobind singh ji ne e likhya i've translated this in english he says that guru gobind singh stood among 20 to 80000 people and he said these words this is according to kazi nur muhammad 1765 he died he says i wish guru gobind singh karene i wish you all to embrace one creed and follow one panth rising above all the differences of all the religions that are now being practiced let the four castes of the hindus lay them down for them in the shastras abandon them all together and adopt the way of guru nanak be of mutual help and cooperation to each other mix freely with one another let no one think that he is more superior than the other do not follow any of the old scriptures do not go to the ganga and other places of pilgrimages which are deemed holy in the hindu religion do not worship the hindu deities rama krishna brahma and durga all should cherish the faith and the teachings of guru nanak let men of the four jats receive my baptism of the double sword the khanda eat from the one vessel do not feel aloofness from contempt for one another and this is what uh, this kazi nur muhammad sahib has said was this a renovation well guru nanak pasha has said jaisi mai aave khasam ki bani that as the lord wishes me to say so i am saying sach ki bani nanak aake sach sunai si sach ki bela this is the right time for me to say this and guru nanak pasha ji writes in his own words honta di vekar kare laya that i was a minstrel without any service and when he disappeared for 3 days guru nanak pasha ji says in the shabad that god took me to himself and assigned me a task he told me that i am to sing wahiguru's gun day and night he summoned me to his dargah ta di sache mahal khasam bulaya that he summoned me to his dargah to the presence where god was himself and he dressed me up in the robes of his praise and glory what did he give me sacha amrit naam bhojan aaya that he gave me this naam and i told you that this naam has come from god guru nanak has told us in bani that when he went to god on those three days and he saw god amo samne god gave him this naam sacha amrit naam bhojan aaya and then god told guru nanak dev ji to go and eat from this naam matlab us amrit nu khao piyo who was the gurmukh yesterday doing that shabad chim chim bashe amratara yeah chim chim bashe amratara ke amrit di bund it is like dripping that naam is dripping and you drink from it you eat from it and guru nanak says that this minstrel this study or guru nanak has been sent to this world to spread naam and guru sahib says that in the shabad that now i have attained god now these things these things about relevation in sikhism is about not only from bani but guru sahib has stated he has disclosed this he has affirmed this he has conviction and testimonies that sikhism is a revealed religion and it is the word of god because guru gan sahib ji actually is the embodiment of the guru's teachings jyu bulaye tyu boliye ja aap bulaye soe gurmukh bani brahm hai the bani is brahm itself the gurbani is god itself ho apo bol na janda mai ka mai keha sab hukm ai jio and that is why the guru sahib then says sadguru ki bani sat sat kar mano that oh my sikhs please believe that the whole of bani is in essence god himself and to believe it as the truth so what are the prominent features of this religion it's a revealed word of god in guru granth sahib it has a harmandar sahib and a kal takht which is spiritual center 
It has a nation, the Khalsa nation. It believes in Sangat. It believes in Pangat. It believes in Shabbat Guru, the doctrine of a holy word. It has a distinct language. It has a nishan, a distinct flag. It has a legacy of martyrs, of shaheeds. It has a ceremonial sword, a kirpan, a khanda. It has its own code of conduct and customs. And in Gurbani, Guru Nanak says, Nanak Raj Chalaya, such court, Satani Neev there, that he built this kingdom, this Panth, on a true fortress where the foundations are strong. In this faith, the essence is of Nam Japna, Vand Chakna, and Kirat Karni. Guru Arjan Dev Ji himself fed the poor. Guru Arjan's Guru, Guru Sahib themselves. I don't see any Babe going to the Langar and serving Langar. Have you seen any Babe going there? Have you seen any of these Radha Swamis and Nam Taris and Chutte Gurus going and serving their Sikhs, uh, serving their devotees? No. Our Gurus did everything. Our Guru Sahib's even Joryadi Seva Kardesan. Our Gurus even gave baths to their Sikhs. Our Gurus even dressed their horses, horses of their Sikhs. This is Guru Arjan Dev Ji serving the Sikh who did the most Seva. Uh, in the Harmandha Sahib. This is Mata Khivi who is serving the Langar herself. This is Guru Amar Das Ji who founded leper colony and healed the sick. And this is Guru Ram Das Ji serving the leper col col colony around Amar Sar Sahib. This is Guru Arjan Dev Ji himself doing the Seva of Harmandha Sahib. This is Pai Das Ji and Guru Arjan Dev Ji writing the Guru Granth Sahib. And then this is Guru Arjan Dev Ji himself doing the Shahidi, not expecting that his Sikhs will die first. So in an ideal life, what is there for a Sikh? There is Nam, devotion, and ultimate devotion to Vahiguru. There is Dan, giving something of themselves, not just money, but something of themselves to other people who need it more than them. There is purity of mind and their body. Apre mannu vitona, apre tannu vitona. Which is why apre shnan kardene. Seva karni, to serve the whole of mankind, not just yourselves. Simran karna, sacrifice karna, tan, man, te tan, denal. Satsang karna, to keep the company of other Gursikhs. And what has this given to us? I've written here, an assured survival through the revealed word. What does this mean? Can I point this out? This is the last conclusion. That did you know that in Gurbani, Guru Nanak Pasha Ji has prophesied the kingdom of Sikhism ruling the world? That one day, that the earth, this earth, is going to be ruled by the Shabbat, and that all those people who take refuge in the Shabbat will be saved. And all those who don't take refuge in this world, in the Shabbat will not be saved. But Guru Nanak Pasha has gone one step further. He says, there will come a time. Ik din avega is kaljuk devich, that they, everybody is going to be saved. How will they be saved? They will be saved through the Guru's word. Guru Sahib has said, there is no other taram besides Guru Nanak's Khalsa taram, which is true. The whole of mankind will be saved through the Guru's teachings. And one day, through the word, through Nam, the whole of the world will be saved. And you ask me, why? Where? Guru Sahib Dasrani, Choho Juga Ka Hun Nabeda. Now, this is the essence of the teachings of the four ages for the human race. The name of the one Lord is the greatest treasure. Nar Munukhanu Ek Nidana Jat Sanjam Tirat Ona Juga Ka Taram Hai Kalme Kirat Har Nama Celibacy Not marrying Self-discipline with yoga and pilgrimages Were the essence of Tarma in those past ages But in the dark age of this Kaljug The praise of the Lord through Nam is the essence of the true religion Tarma Jug jug apo apna taram hai. Sod vekho. Dekho bed purana. Each and every age has its own essence of taram, of religion. Study the Vedas and the Purans and you will see that this is what even they say. Gurmukh jinni tiaya har har. Jagte pure parvana. It is only the Gurmukh who meditate on Vaheguru in this world that are perfect and approved. And Guru Sahib says, Eko taram dirde sach koi. There is only one religion of Tarma. Let everyone grasp this truth. Kise ne hui play khana pave ke dunya de vich koi do taram ne. There is only one taram. Eko taram dirde sach koi. O keda hai? 
गुरमत पूरा जुग जुग हो देर इज ओनली सोई गुरमत पूरा जुग जुग सोई देर इज ओनली वन धर्म एंड दैट इज द धर्म ऑफ गुरु द गुरुज वे द गुरुज टीचिंग शो द ट्रू परफेक्ट वे एंड दिस इज द वे इट इज ऑफ ऑल द एजिज एंड गुरु साहब ने फिर एक शब्द अखीर क्या है कि कल युग उधारिया गुरुदेव कल युग उधारिया गुरुदेव दैट द होल ऑफ कल युग हैज बीन सेव्ड मल मूत मूर जे मुग्ध होते हैं सब लगे तेरी सेव एंड इन दिस शब्द गुरु साहब से टाइम विल कम वेन गॉड अपॉइंटेड द धर्म राजा द पर्सन हु विल कीप अकाउंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस ही विल सिट देर एंड ही विल टेयर अप हिज पेपर्स एंड से टू गॉड दैट everything has been finished i have no work to do now because guru nanak has gone to the world and everybody in the kaljug has been converted through now and i have no other work to do here all the lekha has been finished and this is a shabad written in the guru granth sahib and guru nanak pasha ji has prophesied that one day taram raja will become so amazed and he will go up to god and say i have no other work done because guru nanak has finished all the work on on earth and all of mankind has been saved can you get another better religion or more inspired than this i think not and i leave you with thinking about this and perhaps we can have a, a, a talk about this uh, further in the next few minutes pol chukri khima but there is no other taram let there be no mistake ek wahguru hai ek guru hai ek naam hai ek panth hai ek koi rasta hai there is no two ek taram hai do taram kade nahi hoye do rab kade nahi hoye there can be only one path there is only one path jehde bolde na ke sikh kehnde ne ke eh vi theek hai oh vi theek hai main puch reha ke kithe likhya hai kon keh reha ke eh vi theek hai kon keh reha ha tusi sir vi mun lo kon keh reha ke haj vi chal jao kon keh reha hadwar vi chal jao kon keh reha ke tusi fast vi rakh lo kon keh reha ke pooja vi kar lo kon keh reha tamako vi use kar lo kon keh reha sharab vi pee lo kon keh reha kon keh reha कोई नहीं कह रहा तुम आप कह रहे क्योंकि गुरु नहीं कह रहा गुरु कह रहा एक धर्म जेडे सब सोई कोई गुरमत पूरा जुग जुग हो क्योंकि आ गया भाई अकाल की तभी चलायो पंथ सब सिखों को हुक्म है गुरु मानियो ग्रंथ गुरु ग्रंथ जी मानियो प्रगट गुरु की दे जो प्रभु को मिल बो चाहे खोज शब्द मैले देर इज नो अदर टू वेज देर इज ओनली वन पाथ एंड यू ऑल आर डेस्ट इन फॉर दैट पाथ यू आर सेव्ड because you have been brought to that path and i congratulate you and i am at uh, guru sahib de do uh, ardas ke guru sahib ne sanu sikh dharm de vich sanu paida kita hai sade te hor kripa ho jave and pe- coming to these camps like that maybe we will take up the challenge of being on this path that guru sahib has shown us which is the only way to our salvation pulchuk dikhma wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh